welcome to Naveen Automation Labs guys please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get some interesting videos on Selenium and Automation guys we will be discussing some amazing tools and technologies so please keep watching the video guys hello guys this is Naveen here once again and uh, welcome to Selenium training guys so guys today I'm going to cover one uh, very simple very basic topic hardly it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes but the topic name is uh, how to launch Safari browser with Selenium okay if you are a Mac user and uh, if you are using Safari and uh, uh, in your project also in your company also you have to execute your test cases on Safari then how will you do that with Selenium WebDriver 3. Point version okay so quickly that uh, make sure that okay on your laptop Safari browser is available for Windows guys please uh, I would prefer that uh, you have to download Safari browser and for Mac users, Safari browser is the default browser, which is already available. Okay, so make sure that you are uh, downloading Safari version. If you see in my laptop, Safari about Safari, I'm using Safari 10. 10 plus version, 10.1.2. Okay, so make sure that okay, you are using 10 plus version, the latest version you are, you are using for Safari browser. So sometimes they might ask you at a time of interview also that how will you launch? What is the configuration for Safari? browser okay so today quickly i'll discuss in this video that uh, how exactly you can execute safari with your selenium script so let's write a script first and uh, we will modify the script accordingly okay so in our selenium sessions package what i'll do i'll create a class and let's see my class name is safari test class select the main method and uh, click on finish and uh, quickly what i'll do just like other browsers that we have web driver driver equal to new firefox driver or new chrome driver just like we have web driver driver is equal to for safari driver okay for safari driver we have this option available so safari driver is a class okay you need to import it and web driver is an interface so you need to import this so guys always remember that safari driver is a class which is implementing web driver interface okay and driver is a reference variable so safari driver is implementing web driver interface so whatever the web driver methods are available it's compulsory to define all the methods inside the safari driver okay so this particular thing is already done by some selenium guys okay all these uh, dynamic polymorphism and inheritance everything is already defined in okay in the form of jar files they have given to us okay that combination that relationship between interface and this particular class it's already there we just need to use the concept okay so always remember safari driver is a class so we are creating the object of safari driver class okay which is assigned by web driver means parent interface reference variable is called dynamic polymorphism okay so please go through my polymorphism in java tutorial you will understand each and everything okay what is method overloading method overriding and polymorphism dynamic polymorphism as well as static polymorphism okay so this is what i have written and simply i'll write driver.get and i launch let's see simple google.com google.com i launch with safari and then what i'll do i'll print system.out.println in the title of google okay title of google page very simple script only three lines of a script I have written so for Safari browser no need to define any property that system dot set property just like for Gigo driver and Chrome driver okay in Safari driver we don't define any property there is no Safari driver exe file we have to download no so simple what you have to do you just need to run this program and let's see we will see that Safari browser is getting launched or not so if you run it you will see that Safari browser is getting launched okay but how okay how exactly it's launching safari browser so if you see one thing that for launching this particular script on safari okay if you see the google is getting printed okay what you have to do you have to add one extension so you have to go to safari and you have to go to preferences and in preferences you have to add one extension over here okay so what is the extension name i'll tell you that i have already added that particular extension you have to download one extension okay this is the extension 
I'll tell you where exactly from where exactly you have to download so open your google.com and uh, just write Safari extension for Selenium okay and you need to go to this download site for seleniumhq.org you will see that Safari deprecated use Apple Safari driver with Safari plus now okay guys so Safari driver is deprecated now you have to use Apple Safari driver okay so Apple Safari driver means now Safari driver is not taken care by these guys okay selenium guys we have to use this thing the safari driver now requires manual in installation of the extension prior to automation it's clearly written over there that safari driver now requires manual installation of the extension prior to automation what you have to do you have to get the latest version 2.48.0 this is the latest version the safari driver dot safari extends you have to click on it and you have to click on this trust so safari extension will be added over here like this okay and the safari extension version is 2.48 okay guys so i have although i have already <coughs> added in my script i mean in my laptop earlier okay so it was already there in the back end in the cache but what you have to do you have to add this particular web driver safari web driver extension in your safari extension section you have to add it over here okay it's compulsory to do that otherwise your safari browser will not be launched it will give you error okay so just close it and then simple you can run your script okay google.com and so get title and simple run it see it's getting launched and it's opening google.com and then it will ask you this uh, you know the safari window is remotely controlled by an automation test so please click on continue session if you want to okay keep continuing session also one extra configuration that you have to do this is this you have to enable this allow re remote automation you have to do you have to do one more setting that allow remote automation what you have to do you have to go to safari preferences and in safari preferences what you have to do guys go to advanced and you have to select this checkbox show develop menu in menu bar okay you have to select this checkbox <coughs> and uh, close it so you will see that develop one tab will be shown over here you need to click on this develop tab and then you have to select this option allow remote automation see if you don't select it see i have okay disabled it allow remote automation and then if you run your script so let's see okay it will give you one error that could not create a session the safari instance is already paired with another web driver session something like this okay so you what you have to do you have to select that particular checkbox so let me close the safari the existing safari and let me run it again see now it's giving the error that see you must enable the allow remote automation option in safari's menu <coughs> okay guys so you must enable the allow remote automation option so you have to go to develop and click on this allow remote automation select this and make sure that it's selected one sign check okay select sign will be there and then you have to execute your script <coughs> sorry and then you will execute your script then you will see Google will be launched in just a minute let me close it okay let me enable yeah it's enabled let me run it again uh, 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 allow remote option in just a minute I think okay let me close this Safari also okay and let's see okay and then I'll open my Safari browser manually again I'll go to develop C you have to close the browser and open it again and then this it's selected now so guys sometimes what happens that it automatically okay 
deselected it so make sure that whenever you are executing your script with safari make sure this checkbox is selected i mean this option is selected otherwise it will give this particular error this is a new thing they have introduced guys uh, after 3.0 so now if you run it now it is working see it's launching google and then it's working fine okay and it's printing the title of the page also google okay so like that you have to do that and just click on stop session so that session will be stopped okay and then close it and let's see driver.quit is working after that so driver dot i'll quit the browser immediately run it and it's opening google.com and quit quit the browser so safari browser got closed and all the entire script will remain same everything will remain same guys okay so you can check you know your other scripts with safari browser okay so two things you have to do the first thing what we have to download safari extension for selenium that we have to download okay so i'll give you the safari uh, you know extension from where we have to download i'll give please uh, find that url in the description in the video description second thing is that you have to enable that allow remote automation from develop tab you have to select this so how to sometimes you will see that develop tab is not visible so you have to go to safari go to preferences and go to advanced tab and you have to select this checkbox so it will enable this develop menu over here and then you have to select allow remote automation then only it will be executed guys otherwise it will not be okay so that's all for this session please practice and they might ask you at a time of interview that how will you launch safari it is fine that uh, you will say that web driver driver equal to new safari driver but you have to do these two things also okay use enable safari for a selenium safari extension and then enable allow remote automation these two things you have to remember at the time of interview okay so that's all for today guys so i'll see you in the next session meanwhile please subscribe to this channel and uh, share this video thanks for liking and please click on the bell icon also so that you will be notified in the future videos thank you so much